I um, have a lot of very old things in my collection. I have um, some beautiful dinosaur teeth, some beautiful fossils, and some beautiful artifacts. But these next artifacts, I feel, are particularly exciting. I've been recently uh, working for the Museum of Classical Archaeology and we talked about how an object actually changes the way in which people uh, live and think and act. Now these are stone tools but these stone tools weren't made by a human like you or I. These are made by Neanderthals. These are Neanderthal scraper and a Neanderthal hand axe. Before these people and Neanderthals, of course, would have nothing to uh, make their lives easier. So if they wanted to hunt, they had to use their hands and their legs and their eyes. After this, they could actually use these tools to make hunting animals much easier. Now this is a hand axe. A lot of people have the wrong idea about stone tools. They think they're quite unsophisticated. But this is, you know, it's just the idea of hitting the rocks together, guys. But that's not true. This hand axe, you can see these grooves. Now these are where your fingers go. So your fingers go into it like that, just like the pistol grip on a uh, drill, or in fact a pistol. You have the sharp point there, that's for bashing things on the head. It's not so simple because you can actually turn it round and you have a, another edge here for grinding things up. Again, you can hold it in this way and you've got this edge here probably for breaking things up again as well. This is a beautiful, beautiful object, but it's quite hard to hold. It doesn't feel right. Now, that's a little bit of my ignorance speaking. And I, for a long time I thought to myself, this is really strange because when you hold it, it just doesn't feel right in your wrists in your grip. Now, I was holding it, I was thinking about it, I decided the best thing to do was to have a cup of tea. So I sat down, I had a cup of tea, and I held it in my left hand. And as I held it in my left hand, it suddenly came alive, and it felt like putting on a glove, because this, in fact, is a left-handed hand axe. The person who made this at least 40,000 years ago was a left-handed person. This puts you in touch with people who are so long ago and they are so distant that they've gone completely out of memory. In fact, our ancestors lived alongside the Neanderthals. When the Neanderthals became extinct, we forgot about them. Suddenly, I was able to touch and put my hands into the same places that someone, a very far distant relative, remember, put their hands. This is a scraper. Now the purpose of this is to scrape uh, skins clean. So when you kill an animal, you take its skin off, you have to scrape the fat and the icky bits out of the inside before you can tan it. Neanderthals made their suits out of leather. So they would have a suit of leather, by which I don't mean a shirt and tie, obviously, I mean trousers, a jacket because they lived in a very, very cold climate. They were perfectly adapted for this climate. They had giant noses and what is described as supercharged breathing. The Neanderthals were quite frankly, a lot better than us in many respects. Whilst our ancestors were looking for their noses in the snow because they had frozen and fallen off, the Neanderthals were quite happily going off hunting big game. And when they caught their big game, they had to scrape the skin clean. So they'd use this, holding it with their fingers, thin there, and scrape it down. It takes about 10 hours to clean a skin with one of these. Each set of clothes required about 10 skins for all the different parts. So it's about 100 hours work for a set of clothes. These are fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Not least, this affected the way the Neanderthals' muscles grew on their arms. Neanderthal muscles on their arms are intensely strong because they have to spend so much time scraping and scraping and scraping these skins. So, that ends our today's session. And I'd just like to leave you with these beautiful Neanderthal tools. Thank you.